speaking of pleas and all that, uh, you know, uh, I I don't keep too much track of it, but have you been keep be, keep, been keeping track of the little J situation? And what's your what's your uh, what's your opinion on that? And and do, do you do y'all talk? Yeah, I touch I touch bases with little J. It's been a couple weeks now, probably a month, but um, for the most part, she is. They case is they case. And it's been talked about and my fucking explained, described so many different ways. So shit ain't y'all y'all know damn that probably as much as me about the case, but far as how it's playing out, I'm the type of nigga shit like when it's heavy, you know what I'm saying? When it's heavy, if if a nigga ain't got that, that palm money or that expensive money to uh, for a lawyer to find them loopholes in your case, I'm like on the best thing. I'm I'm the type of nigga to get the best thing I can get and get out the way far as taking a plea deal and get back home. Okay. That's what that's what FBG Duck had said on um on Vlad TV. He had said the same thing. He said he should have just taken the plea deal because um that shit was that shit's crazy when you're dealing with that much time. That's that's crazy and and you don't have the right lawyers to fight it. I think like the feds they got like over a ninety five percent. Uh, conviction rate. But you gotta understand when you hear them talking about uh, somebody having uh, over 95% because I know it's places that uh, judges I don't win in front of the court system having a 99.9% .9 conviction rate but it's about them giving you what you looking for as far as a cop out like niggas getting caught with drugs guns and whatnot, and, and niggas going in there trying to bargain so they, they just want a conviction, so they, they giving up what a nigga asking for, so it's just another conviction and whatnot. But, yeah, I, I know I could speak on it a little better than Duck because I actually been there and I actually saw niggas fight cases, some win, some lose, but I'm taking that time. I'm getting out of there. Like, if, if, if I'm guilty, then, you know, like, you got you to gotta like when niggas be, I'm not just going to say just Lil' Jake, but it's a couple guys that hurt themselves, like, with some of the shit they 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 rapping about they actually go and get go get caught in the same situation then I know like you, it's needless to say that it's somebody on the state's defense or it's some niggas that's gonna tell on you whatnot and bring up your whole YouTube life you know what I'm saying your social media life and then you got that against you versus you know what I'm saying the word of the people already already you know what I'm saying having you a suspect and you guilty already now they got all this shit like with Lil J guns all this shit to me, he got ops and everything to make it look like yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm so that hurt like before. So before a nigga could even, uh, before the state could even use some shit like that against me, I'm already been copped out and been gone on my way home. Yeah. Cause you know they gonna use they gonna use everything they can and like they gonna use all your background. They don't use they they don't use rappers' music to put them away. So look at look at Bobby Schmurder. They don't use his music to put him away. So, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? That was, that's crazy. Um, all right, so let's get back, let's get back into a little bit of some, some stuff. Um, what's your relationship like with, uh, Swag De Niro and, um, and all them? Do you, Who? uh, is he part of y'all's crew? Do y'all talk to him? Who? And, um, did, did you watch his Vlad interview? Did you see his Vlad interview? Who? Uh, Swag De Niro. Never heard of him. <laughs> you never heard of him. Never heard okay. of him. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Uh, this guy that you never heard of on on Vlad TV said that Lil JoJo's BDK was what started the war in Chirac. Do you believe that's true or do you believe the war had started before that? Yeah, that shit, that shit was already started before that because niggas was getting shot and killed before that, you know what I'm saying? He just, like, that just started a war with, with his hood, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, like, even if I'm the outside looking in, that started a war with him, you know what I'm saying, whoever felt offended to the BDK movement, you know what I'm saying? That, that didn't start, though, like, that didn't set the city on fire. Of course, you know what I'm saying, niggas feel BDK. You got niggas been BDK before I was born, you know what I'm saying? Right or wrong. Yeah. See it. Exactly. That's why that's why when he said it, I was like, I feel like the war had been going on before before any records came out. Yeah, I just that's why, like, like motherfuckers. That's why it was so deep. Niggas didn't even know motherfucking uh 
JoJo had a brother until, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. Had, like, so, <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck he can voice his opinion on anything if he's not even from here. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Um, back when you had, back when y'all had beef and, uh, you, you called Chief Keith's mom. Is there anything you, is there anything you regret about that? Or is that still something that you, that, that you would have done regardless whether it was now or back then? 